Hi everyone, welcome to the Earth Science Regents Review podcast series created by Helmick's Middle School Earth Science Department. Today we're going to talk about page 6 in the reference table, the rock cycle. So a cycle is something that happens over and over and over again. So your igneous, your sedimentary, and your metamorphic rocks, the processes that make them are continuous. And the processes that make each individual rock type is going to be special to that specific rock. So let's first start off looking at these outside arrows of the rock cycle and that's going to tell us the actual processes that make each individual rock type. So let's start with igneous. Melting of rock into magma or lava, that magma or lava is then going to solidify and crystallize into an igneous rock. You notice that the processes are always going to come before the actual rock name. Let's move on to sedimentary. Your sedimentary rocks are undergo uplift, okay, which means land gets forced upward, that land then gets broken down, called weathering. That land gets eroded, called erosion. Okay, it means it gets transported to a different location. Okay, those rock fragments that get transported are what we call sediments. Those sediments then get dropped off, and they get buried, deposition and burial. Then they get compacted, which means that they get the particles get close together, and they get cemented, or they get glued together to make a sedimentary rock. Your metamorphic rocks undergo intense heat and pressure. Okay, to make their type of rock. Okay, so those are the basic processes that make your individual rock types. Now let me show you how each rock is interconnected with the other type. So let's start off with metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks can become igneous. They're going to become igneous because they can melt into magma and they can solidify and crystallize into igneous. Metamorphic rocks can become sedimentary because metamorphic rocks can get uplifted they can be weathered and eroded into sediments. Now those sediments can get further eroded, get back down even into smaller sediments, and then they can get deposited, they can get buried, they can get compacted and cemented into sedimentary rock. And metamorphic rock can become itself. By undergoing more heat and pressure, you have different stages of metamorphism that actually can take place. Okay, the next type of rock we're gonna take a look at is igneous. Igneous rocks can become, well, you take a look. Igneous rocks can become sedimentary. Igneous rocks can undergo weathering and erosion and uplift into sediments. Again, those sediments can be eroded even further, okay, even into smaller particles, deposited, buried, compacted, and cemented into sedimentary rock. Igneous rocks, okay, can become metamorphic by simply undergoing intense heat and pressure. Or igneous rocks can become itself by melting back into magma and then solidifying into a different type of igneous rock. And the last type of rock we're gonna focus on is sedimentary. Sedimentary rocks can become, well first off, sedimentary rocks can become itself. Sedimentary rocks can be uplifted, weathered, eroded, okay, back into sediments. Okay, those sediments can be further eroded into smaller sediments, deposited, buried, compacted and cemented back into sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks can undergo a tremendous amount of melting to become igneous rocks into magma, and then that magma is going to solidify and crystallize into igneous, or sedimentary rocks can go undergo heat and pressure to become a, another form of metamorphic rock. Um, that's pretty much it with the rock cycle. Rock cycle is going to be very important if you need to take a look at some of the processes. So that's it for now. We'll talk to you soon.